Hey guys, so it's time to go ahead and compare the Samsung Galaxy S3 versus the Samsung Galaxy S2 mainly here because uh, some people are saying that, oh, there's not that much changes versus the Samsung Galaxy S2. So I just want to laugh here a little bit because there's so many things that they have changed. Uh, okay, so let's go over the specs. We also have the Galaxy S here, but we're mainly going to focus on the Galaxy S2 and the new Galaxy S3. So let's talk about the OS first. Okay, of course, uh, we're gonna get Android 4.0 on both the Galaxy S2 and the Galaxy S3, but you're gonna get the latest Android 4.0 for a, a little bit newer uh, version of Android on, on the Galaxy S3. But the big thing is the skin. You're getting the TouchWiz 4.0 on the Galaxy S2, but what I saw is that, first of all, if they had changed the name of TouchWiz, so now they only call it like TouchWiz, so I'm not sure if they're gonna be a TouchWiz 5.0 out. But if you have looked on a hands on video on the Galaxy S3, you can see that they have changed a lot of things with TouchWiz, it looks way more like uh, uh, like Android 4.0 because they've made so much cool changes. Uh, so that's the third thing here that they've changed. They made a big massive update to, uh, to TouchWiz and I'm not sure uh, and I don't think actually we're gonna see that uh, update uh, of TouchWiz uh, coming out to the Galaxy S2 but of course there will be custom ROMs and all for that. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and continue to the next one. The display. Did it change the display? Uh, the screen size, or yeah, of course, uh, went from 4.3 in uh, some variants of the Galaxy S2 in the States, were 4.5 inch, like the Galaxy S2 HD LTE and stuff like that. Uh, they bumped it up to 4.8 inch. Uh, did they change the screen resolution? Hell yeah, they did. They went from 480 uh, times 800 to a full 720p uh, Super AMOLED HD uh, Pentile screen. It uh, wasn't a Super AMOLED HD Plus, as some, some people. Uh, were expecting. Uh, so they changed that thing. Did they change the glass? Yes, they changed the glass as well. Going from Gorilla Glass to Gorilla Glass 2, that's even stronger. And I'm not sure if the HTC One X has Gorilla Glass 2. Uh, if someone can confirm that, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, the CPU, did they change the CPU? Hell yeah, they did. They have the new uh, chipset, the 4412. Uh, but uh, this time, instead of dual core, it's quad core 1.4 gigahertz with the new Exynos 4 quad. Um, let's see here. Did they also change? Uh, they didn't add a GPU here uh, in Gadget, but it's the same GPU. But have they bumped up the specs? Yes, hell yeah, they did. They went from like 200 megahertz on the Mali 400 GPU to uh, around 400 to 450 megahertz so we'll be performing around 50 to 65 percent better and i'm not sure if you can overclock the uh, you should be able to overclock the galaxy s2 this much but this will come uh, you don't have to change it or anything so that's one thing that they've changed as well uh one thing here that they didn't do change was the ram okay you still got that one gigabyte of ram uh, that i get a little bit disappointed about because i was really looking forward to get a a a, a like a two gigabyte ram phone or something we may see that in the next galaxy note uh that would be really cool um if you talk about the storage did they change the storage hell yeah they did now you also have a 64 gigabyte option that uh, the guys s3 is going to be a web in one of those and also that they still have the micro sd slot i like them for that they did they change the front facing camera well it seems like because they're running a 2 megapixel camera on the galaxy s2 and now it's a 1.9 megapixel so it may change the optics or something hopefully it will be better uh it is st still an 8 megapixel camera some people have been saying oh no they didn't put down an 8 well, me a pixel camera. Well, uh, that's mostly you know you're just mostly talking about um, pixels, okay? Usually a 12 me a pixel camera, you know you don't print out those uh, like a big images and stuff. Uh, so it would be interesting to compare uh, really how, how the 8 mp camera on the Galaxy S3 will stack up against the Galaxy S2s. Uh, if, they, if they have changed optics and everything. And it seems like they have that. Now it comes with like AF plus HDR. I also saw that in the new TouchWiz the camera app is updated a lot to like with the burst mode and all those cool things. LTE version will be available here right from the start. Uh, what else? Uh, Wi-Fi 
Spotify, yeah, it seems like they have some new things over here. Bonding, HD 4.0. Uh, Bluetooth is now version 4.0. Uh, I, I think Apple was first there with using Bluetooth 4.0 uh, with their iPhone 4S. Uh, but going from Bluetooth 3.0 to 4.0, probably not going to make that a big difference for most people. But uh, it's, it's a thing over there. Uh, orientation, I think that's kind of the same. Uh, the dimensions, yes, it is a tiny bit thicker, uh, going from like 8.4, 8.5 from what I've seen uh, to 8.6 millimeters. But are you going to notice that? Um, nah, probably not. But uh, of course, you always want a thinner device, you know. Uh, okay, so the weight uh, also, the, the, the 116 grams on the Galaxy S2, 133 on the new Samsung Galaxy S3, but then you should also remember uh, that it, it is a little bigger. Uh, one very, very good thing and one big thing that I like about the Galaxy S3 is that it comes with a way bigger battery than the Galaxy S2, going from 15, 1600 milliamp to 2100 milliamps that even smacks the HTC One X on its app. That's only coming with 1,800 milliamps, but it's going to be fun to see how they stack up. But I think that the Galaxy S3 is going to have a better battery, and uh, so I mean they did actually change a lot of things. They didn't change every single spec things, but of course they they won't be able to do that. Uh, I could have been a little bit disappointed in in the build quality, uh, even though. Um, I use my phones a lot for work and uh, I'm not that careful sometimes with them. I throw them around a little bit, so it's it's good there. Also, I think the ergonomics feels uh, it's probably going to be better with the Galaxy S2, uh, Galaxy S3, uh, because it has more curves. Uh, you can see there on the sides on the first official pictures that it looks very, very curved. Hopefully, it won't feel too much plastic or hopefully they will improve it a little bit so it feels a little better than like my Galaxy Note or do something I mean I haven't got my hands on the device and it's gonna be fun to get some real-world performance of this device but what I've seen uh, they seem to be very satisfied with the performance no lag whatsoever it seems like they've added new animations and everything in touch with so uh, yes yeah, stay, stay tuned for more more things it's gonna be available on the May the 29th in Europe uh, and then in next month it's gonna be available in the States so it's not gonna take like the Galaxy S2 like my to come out um, and also um, yeah 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 we have the design over here um, I'm sure if I made that video yeah I'll, I'm probably gonna do a video about the design so yeah ask people what they think about it but I think that the new design is better uh, but as I said in, in, in a few videos I don't get this uh, thing uh, over uh, the home button it looks like you use a blank space with nothing and then you have the screen it feels like it's a little bit too a to a big area over there uh, that is blank but from what, what I can see right now that could be just because it has more or the curves on the sides and everything um, but I mean um, yum, 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 yeah I'm sure what I should say but uh, I think it looks good, okay? I think it looks good. But the build quality on the HTC One X is uh, probably, I'm, I'm pretty sure, much, much better. But ergonomics better on, on the Galaxy S3, if, if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, so stay tuned when I'm going to get my good, good hands on on this device. And we're going to play around with it. And the new touch with UI feels sexy, even though at the top it still looks a little bit like gingerbread. Uh, they should probably be able to update that. Um, but yeah, and also I saw that when you uh, hold down and scroll down and put down the notification area, you can now scroll uh, up there in top to toggle a ton of more things just uh, as default, and that's something that I definitely do enjoy. Uh, yeah, I want to I wanna get my hands on on this dirty device, and uh, we're gonna get it pretty soon, so yeah. And uh, this month, uh, we're probably gonna get the LG Optimus 4X as well, so we have a lot of new bad boys that wanna come and join the party and play with us. Yeah, um, I'm too high on Android right now. See ya.